let's say Claire right here right if I go to her profile you can see that Claire has got 5,000 followers right now whether she her followers are all hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the top 10 ways to grow your audience on Facebook applies to lots of social media it's pretty much the same but we're going to talk specifically about Facebook and what are the top 10 things the top 10 things that you can do to really grow your audience in a way that isn't just about numbers because you know having a big audience is useless if they're not <coughs> the right audience right so we need to learn how to grow the audience the right way so we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so that's right like I said there's lots of ways to grow your audience I mean you can hire people to give you fake likes or you know or I even did it myself I did ads that would give me pennies for likes but I ended up losing my page because I did it wrong right so I mean there is a, a you know lots of people we want lots of likes we want lots of followers and all that good stuff but really if you don't have the right followers the right fans it's going to be really not very useful all right so we're going to get into that I want to remind you though before I get into that that if you're listening to the audiobook of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis508 jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you how all this fits together so let's get right started and I'm actually going to start with a very like you know I'm going to give you the answer right now I'm going to give you the the 10 top best ways to get your audience and you know if we let me just share my screen here so hold on um so I mean if you're on Facebook right obviously I can go to I don't know um who which leaders do I have on my list here that's shown up if I look at say any of these these posts that I'm seeing here this is a regular post well let's say Claire right here right if I go to her profile you can see that Claire has got 5,000 followers right now whether she her followers are all, all great all perfect the right followers and all that I don't know right I'm not I'm not her but she definitely knows how to use traction marketing how to create content how to post things and she's a good example right and, and also if I go for say I don't know Diane Hockman if I look at Diane Hockman I mean her she's got 17,000 followers right so and she's definitely you know one of the queens of attraction marketing she certainly understands how all that works and that's part of what you got to do is use attraction marketing right so if I go back to just um I mean the the post I mean obviously you want people to see your stuff you want them to interact with your stuff you want them to you know buy your stuff right so how do you get those people that will actually buy your stuff to be your fans because that's who you want right you want people that are actually going to buy your stuff you don't want just random people following you which there's some benefit to that but really in the long term it really doesn't benefit you to have tons of followers if you look at my page I mean I have four thousand seven thousand followers right and I wouldn't say that they're all perfect followers but you know they are lots of them are you know good uh, the good kinds of followers or the kinds of followers that would eventually buy from me and all that stuff that's what you really want but let's take a look at um at those those 10 things these are the 10 things okay so these are the 10 things that you need to do what are the top 10 best ways to grow your Facebook audience right so uh, we'll just kind of go through these really quickly and then we'll kind of get deeper into some of them right so the first one is you got to post content that your audience is interested in now obviously uh, yeah I'm not going to get into the details so number one number two you got to comment on your audience's posts all right so just keep keep that in mind you got to be doing that you got to reply to the comments on your posts you number three number four you've got to join groups that your target market is in all right number five you've got to follow the followers 
of your audience's leaders now I'm not saying you have to do that but that's one of the top ways to get the followers that are the right followers same thing with number six commenting on posts of your audience's leaders right and like I said we'll get into details of each of these what what I'm talking about what I mean number seven you got to find the people who are actually active in groups your audience is in again we'll talk about what I mean by that number eight you should be tracking your activity so you are always in their notifications again we'll show you how to do that and number nine you got to have a profile that clearly tells tells them what you're about and number 10 last but not least this is a little plug for me I the software I use obviously lots of this stuff you can do manually but if you use active group user software to stop you're going to stop wasting your time in the news feed all right so now let's get into these specifically okay number one posting content that your audience is interested in right so what do we, what do we mean by posting content your audience is interesting right so <clears throat> well you need to know you need to know your audience who your audience is <clears throat> right you need to know who your audience is if you don't know who your audience is how do you know what kind of content to post how do you know that they're going to be interested in it if you don't know who your audience is right so you got to know who is your audience in other words you know what are they interested in what do they um what are their problems how can you help them with their problems like it's it, it's a whole thing now obviously I can't get into all that right now but you need to know who your audience is in what they're interested in so that you can post that kind of stuff now when I talk about that if I go to Facebook and if I look at um if I look at my post just my post on my page right I mean I posted this uh today five hours ago right I've got 11 comments already it's not millions of comments but still given that my audience is interested in these kinds of things they like to see you know um, uh, affirmations or mantras or quotes these aren't quotes these are just me writing this stuff right <clears throat> I'm also posting some workout stuff that I'm doing right I'm uh, and I share Russell Brinson stuff and I there's another Russell there's and then I also of course do videos like the one I'm doing here I'm sharing that video here and and I post again like so I post stuff that I no my audience is interested in now the thing is that lots of people what they get stuck up on is that they're like well what if they're not interested in what I'm posting <laughs> that's the secret you decide who your audience is what they're interested in and then post about that so you're deciding that so that means that people that aren't interested in what you're posting they're not your audience so doesn't matter that's that's the, that's the secret right it's all about making a decision of who your audience is what they're interested in and then post about that it's really that simple all right so I'm not saying so that the the, the problem is that we get into this mindset of getting an audience and then posting stuff that that audience is interested in but that's not how it works you don't get an audience first you decide who that audience is you post the content that they're interested in and that audience will start to follow you that's the big secret so that's the first the first thing so number two is comment on your audience's post now again this is exactly the same thing right people are like well how do I know who my audience's posts are and well it I guess the list is not necessarily in the right order here because you should be finding people you should be uh yeah following followers commenting on post your audience so I mean you do certain things that the order maybe I should have worked a little bit more on getting the order right but commenting on your audience's post is you first have to find your audience which means going to groups going to leaders seeing who follows those leaders like say for example I go to Diane Hockman again right if I go to Diane Hockman here right and maybe like whoever follows Diane Hockman might be my my target market right maybe I'm looking for people who she helps right so then I could go to you know her friend list or I could go to her followers I can go to her followers I don't know if they still do that now but 
let me see if they still do that because maybe sh depending on the leaders some hide these things um but it used to be that you could but you know either either you can find <coughs> like on some, yeah there you go oops the mouse was just not working <coughs> so I can look at her followers right these are all people that are following her oops sorry about that these are people that are following her so I could potentially just you know follow them right add friend or message or, or whatever right obviously I'm not going to do that right now but you know some of them uh, there's going to be a follow I will be I would be able to follow oh there you go see this one I'm already following this one add friend add friend just trying to see if I can find a follow because it used to be there you go so you see right here I could click on Nina's Nina's follow button here now I would, I would start following her and the other thing I can do is I can just go to her profile right and I can comment on some of her posts right and see what what she posts about right and that's one way to comment on uh your followers or your comment on your audience's post right you go find them through your leaders that you're following the ones that are following them or even actually the other thing I wanted to show you is the other option is if I go back here to Diane's just Diane's posts I can look at her posts and I can actually look at who commented right on her post and I can actually go you know either follow or or message these these others lots of these are already my friends because I've been following Diane for a long time right but that's the thing you can do that too or you can even go look at some and see this one's got 41 comments 85 and uh, plus reactions so then I get the list of all the people who reacted right and I can come in here and I can do this now I'm not saying to do that because they're <laughs> like see Lauren sent me a friend request I didn't even realize that I should probably do that but that's the thing right you can you can do that go through this list and click on these buttons but Facebook will block you so I'm not saying to do that don't 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 think that I'm telling you go ahead and do that I'm just saying that's one way to find a few people to follow so the, to go check their profile to go comment on their stuff you can find them either through your your leaders there the people that are engaging on their posts or you can go to groups right you can go to groups if I go to groups I guess Facebook doesn't have the group thing anymore so if I go to maybe just right here my groups no that's not it all right it, you just go up here <laughs> I'm so used to just using my phone to navigate Facebook right so under groups right here you can find your the groups you're part of like say I go to Clickbank affiliate marketing I'm I'm in lots of the affiliate marketing groups so I can go to this group right and I can go find the people that are actually engaging in the group that are actually active people that are commenting uh you know people that are posting so this is these are posts that has almost no comments on them uh, five comments here so you know you can you can find people and this is obviously like what they call a kind of a spam group there's a lot of posts in here that are just like spam like you know this thing here I don't know who that is but I can't imagine that's a real picture it looks like a fake picture where they put that on there <laughs> And then you put your country in yeah sure you're gonna win 50,000 yeah yeah just for posting your country right anyways whatever that's what I mean there's spam stuff but this is kind of how you do it too you go into groups you can find people that's kind of how you can find your audience and their post by going to their profile and things like that right so so find them in groups or leaders posts right so you find them that way and then you go in and comment on their post right so number three right number three we want to talk about replying to comments on your post so say if, if I and this is this is pretty straightforward right if I post something I go to my own page here I can look through the notifications and I can see all the people that commented on my stuff right or that re replied to my my comments on their stuff but this is the thing if I go here I click on these comments right there's a lot of, I haven't done that today it's been too busy but I would actually come in here I would you know react to this and then I would reply to the comment right just and then I would say you sure do right I would reply to this right reply to this one 
uh, just you know just a simple reply right so that they know that you saw their stuff and that you appreciate them and you know and that's I wish yeah, I've had so many in here right like I I would do that that does a couple things first like I said they recognize that you come and you replied back to their comment they see that you care that you appreciate what they do and also Facebook will reward you by sharing growing the reach on your posts right so that's another thing reason why that's important okay so uh that's pretty straightforward join groups that your target market is in again this is kind of like I said earlier in in the groups like uh, me and affiliates I'm looking at affiliate groups lots of those are spam groups but still there's some that are pretty good but you become part of that community and you engage and you get people to notice you by commenting on posts by engaging on posts by visiting their profiles that kind of stuff that's one way to grow then they start to follow you right and obviously me in affiliate marketing it's not the same as I don't know being part of a group on uh, rhododendrons or or cats or or you know whatever whatever you like that that you want your audience to be part of if you're looking for people who have cats that like you know uh well I don't know that like um traveling well everybody likes that that like um that uh, anyways whatever you, you know you know what I mean you, you you can choose who's gonna follow you by being in the places that the people you want to follow you are and they will eventually follow you well not all of them obviously but some of them will and that's the point if you go into groups that are about cats then you're gonna find people people that have cats that are in that group that start to notice you posting and commenting will some of them will follow you because they they'll like what you post or they're they'll notice you or whatever right okay so follow followers of your leaders that's the other one I was saying you can do but it's not like you know you don't do that like a crazy person because you will be blocked if you try to follow you know 20 people a day that won't be as don't won't work too great right so you got to be careful of that uh comment on posts of your audience's leaders that's kind of the same as going to the groups if they're your if they're your if they're the leaders of the people that you want to follow you then you want to be noticed so you want to comment on those posts right so find the people who are act active in groups okay so that so that is basically if you go to groups let's go back to groups here uh, if you go to groups right and let's say I go to digital mentors here right so this is one of the group I'm part of right so these these are people that are active in the groups right so yeah, I see Sab Sabrina right here I see uh I see Tar Taria I see so these people that are actually commenting in these posts are actually active you know they're active people they're, they're like the group has 674 members right but not everybody's going to be active and you know you could try to reach out to all the members by going to the members list and that kind of stuff but that really is spamming right it doesn't work too good and Facebook doesn't like it anyways so if you're just actually looking at who's active by looking at who is reacting to posts who is commenting on posts right two comments here um and this is might not be a, a super active group but it is only 600 members right it's not like you know groups with 20,000 members or something right so but that's kind of how you do it you go in there and you find who it is that's actually active by looking at their name by who is it that's commenting who is it that's posting who is it that's yeah commenting and posting and that's kind of what that that one is all right so then tracking your activities you always know in their notifications so what does that mean so that's something that you can do yourself by having a list in a spreadsheet or something like that where you have your list of all the people and you visit their profiles and things like that or you just go by memory right but the thing is that if you're not tracking it well tracking it takes a lot of time so you should be using a software to do the tracking that's what active group users is but basically you come into let's say I open up another tab here this is active group users right here this is the software I'm just gonna show you the whole thing whoops I moved it so it disappeared so this is active group user software it lets you give it a list of groups and it will go and fetch users 
that are uh, active in those groups so see right now these are the groups I have you can put whatever groups you want once you've done that then you will uh, <coughs> be able to access the data from that and basically what it is <coughs> is that it gives you a list of the users then you can actually do this right you can actually track your activity so you don't have to you don't well you don't have to track it the software does it for you right so with the software it'll tell you right here how many people you visited how many posts you've reacted on so yesterday I did 33 visits which means I visited I went to 33 people's profiles right so if I click on Alice right here oh that's three days ago so six days ago let's say Cindy if I click on her name here I don't have to remember what her profile is I just click the links it takes me to Facebook on those pages and on her profile directly and I can actually go and comment on on her post right I can just look at this and um and I can just just uh, my computer's a little slow there but let's just do that and I'm just gonna say sounds amazing right and obviously um I would normally go and comment on three two three or four posts right so I'm not going to do that right now but then I just close the tab and I come back in here and I just say I comment on a one post reacted to one post and save the update so now now I know that I visited her see just now right there it says just now so this says uh, six hours ago yesterday four days ago whatever right so that lets me track who I visited and now it says six right here right that's kind of what that does so that's what that is and then number th nine obviously is have a profile that clearly tells them what you're about if I go to Facebook and I look at my profile <coughs> it'll kind of say what I'm about right if I go to my profile whoops I wasn't there yet if I go to my profile it kind of shows that I've been in you know my kind of work is DevOps my my you know daytime job also says right here that I'm creator of active group user software with a link and if I scroll down you can kind of see some features I probably need to update these I haven't done that in a while plus you see pictures and also you have a cover photo right there so all those things are important to have set up in a way that people can come here and they have a bit of a clue what you're about now me I probably need to improve some of this but you know that's part of what you got to do and then lastly is use active group users which what I showed you a second ago active group users get a list like this the ones that are you know like this is because they're hidden uh that's just because I I'm not I'm showing the hidden ones <laughs> but you know basically using this software will let you do all that spend less time spend less time wasted on on Facebook news feed instead you just click the links to go visit their profiles right actually I want to have over here I want to say I want that's nobody at least it has to be at least six days ago that I've seen them six days ago and uh it's giving you the list of the people that I haven't seen in at least six days or the people I have not seen at all right see right here and then I can use that to visit profiles so that I'm in their notifications so they they know they they re regular regularly see me in their notifications and they become the fans that really already know me right and that's kind of the idea here you want people to know like and trust you that's what you want build relationships with content but also later on you can build relationship with either messages with them or emails or other kinds of communication all right so hopefully that gave you um, you know insights into how to get the top the top 10 ways to grow your Facebook fans see you next time this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.